I'm going to show you some new tweaks along with BIOS settings that can tremendously help you boost FPS and reduce input delay in all games by optimizing your CPU, GPU and the RAM. These will work for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well as boost performance on any low-end, mid or high-end PC, helping you get the most performance out of your CPU and GPU as well as your Windows. So let's dive into it. So we're gonna be going ahead and starting off with some of the CPU and GPU tweaks within the Windows itself and then we're gonna be going ahead and moving on to the BIOS settings. Applying these tweaks in the sequence that I showed you guys will help ensure that all of the tweaks work properly and that you get the most performance out of your Windows. So go down into the description of this video and download the Recnetix BIOS guide pack from my website. Once you have it downloaded, just go ahead and extract it and then open it up. Inside of here, the very first thing that you want to do is apply the disable UAC registry file. This is basically going to go ahead and disable the user account control dialog box and will ensure that all of the tweaks that we're going to be going ahead and applying later on will all work properly. So just double click on it, hit yes, hit ok and then go ahead and restart your PC. Once you have restarted, go ahead and come back here and then we can move on. Starting with the power tweaks, so inside of here go ahead and double click on the import powerplan.reg, hit yes, hit ok and it will make it so that all you need to do is double click on any power plan to import it into your power plan settings. For me, I have provided you guys with the request power plan which has worked really well for a lot of people. So all you need to do is double click on it and now the power plan has been successfully imported. Just go ahead and double click on the power plans right here and it should take you to the power options. Inside of here under the hide additional plans, you should now be able to see a request power plan. Just go ahead and select it and then you can close out of it. The fourth one here is the disable power throttling. So what it does is basically limit the performance of your CPU in order to conserve power, which of course is bad for gaming. And all you need to do is double click on it, hit yes, hit ok and now it should have been disabled. Just keep in mind that for some laptops you might want to keep it on if you are facing high temperatures. But other than that, go back into the pack and open up GPU tweaks. I'm gonna go ahead and go one by one from all of these. Just go ahead and follow along with the GPU that you have. So for the AMD users, go ahead and open up AMD. Inside of here, the first one is the disable ultra low power state and what it actually will do is basically force your CPU to not go into low power states which as the name suggests will help you increase the performance of your GPU. So just go ahead, double click on it. Since I don't use an AMD GPU, I'm not gonna go ahead and apply it. As for the second one, this is basically going to be a alternate to the NVIDIA Profile Inspector that I will show you which will basically go ahead and change some of the settings inside of the Radeon software itself. So just go ahead and apply this. Then going back and for the Intel users just go ahead and open up these both pictures and then just go ahead and copy the settings that are listed here into your Intel control panel. As for the NVIDIA users, go ahead and open it up and inside of here, the first one that you want to apply is the NVIDIA GPU tweaks. Now what this will do is actually it will work in combination with the NVIDIA profile that we will be importing. It will be making sure that some of these settings that are inside of this profile are actually applied well and work with your GPU driver. So all you need to do is double click on it hit yes, hit ok and after that just go ahead and drag the Recnetic Tweak profile onto the NVIDIA profile inspector and yeah that's basically it. This profile contains the best 3D settings as well as some of the hidden settings that are not present in the NVIDIA control panel but can be changed via the NVIDIA profile inspector. So now that you have applied the best GPU settings, go back into the pack once more and inside of here go ahead and disable the GPU energy driver which is basically a useless service that runs in the background of your PC consuming a little bit of your GPU and CPU resources. Sources. As for the disable spectre and meltdown, before disabling this, I just want to tell you guys what it actually does and whether you should disable it or not. So meltdown and spectre exploit critical vulnerabilities in modern processors which allow certain programs to steal data which is currently processing on your computer. So spectre and meltdown protection is as the name suggests, protection against that. However, since it is always enabled by Windows itself, it causes major CPU performance loss and gives you much more input latency. Now some of you guys might be thinking, why would you disable a security feature? And the short answer is that it's pretty useless these days. Most if not all browsers these days come with security patches integrated into themselves and in addition to that having this setting on is only massively increasing the latency and reducing the performance of your PC. Still if you're someone who works with sensitive information a lot such as your bank accounts perhaps then maybe you shouldn't disable it. However for gamers I highly recommend that you go ahead and disable Spectre and Meltdown because by disabling these settings alone you can see a tremendous increase in the smoothness of your games as well as lower input latency. So all you need to do is double click on it, hit yes and hit ok. 
As for the disable memory compression, if you guys want to know what it actually is and how to enable or disable it, you can go ahead and check out this video that will be at the top right corner right now. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna be going ahead and right clicking on it and run it as administrator and then you can go ahead and press any key to continue. So now that we have applied all of the settings within the windows itself, now we're gonna be going ahead and applying some of the BIOS tweaks. Mainly I'm gonna show you guys two major settings that you need to change inside of your BIOS right now. However, to change those settings, you need to go ahead and boot into the BIOS first and there are basically two methods which I'm gonna show you right now and the first one is actually pretty simple all you need to do is hit your start menu and then search for advanced startup then go ahead and click on the change advanced startup options and then under the advanced startup go ahead and click on restart now then you will be taken to this screen where you need to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then finally click on the uefi firmware settings and then click on restart now this should boot most of you guys into the bios however this method may not work for everyone but the second method is for everyone so what you need to do is search up the bios boot key for your motherboard on google and then just restart your pc and start spamming that key as soon as the pc starts to boot up and now you should be inside of your bios the first setting that we will be changing inside of the bios is to disable the cpu c states which will massively help increase cpu performance and low latency but what are c states in order to save energy when the CPU is idle, the CPU can be commanded to enter a low power mode. Each CPU has several power modes and they are basically known as the C states or C modes. The thing that you need to know is that C0 is where the CPU is at its optimal performance and starting from C1, it gradually goes into power saving modes. This can produce a lot of latency and of course decrease in performance as the CPU states go up higher. It also takes more time for the CPU to get it back to C0 which is of course the performance state so that is the reason we're gonna be going ahead and disabling it so now how to disable it since all of you are probably not using the exact same motherboard i cannot tell you an exact place however for most motherboards it will be under the advanced tab then cpu configuration and finally cpu power management for some msi ryzen motherboards it will be in the overclock tab advanced cpu configurations amd cbs here is what it can look like for some of the motherboards but if you can't find this setting in your bios you can look up on google how to disable c states for your specific motherboard model and once you find it just simply go ahead and disable it the second setting is to enable the xmp which basically unlocks the advertise speed for your ram for example if you have ram sticks let's say they run at 3200 megahertz they aren't actually running at that speed unless you enable the xmp you can overclock the ram yourself to achieve even better results however this is the simpler method for most of you who want to squeeze the most performance out of your ram also one thing to keep in mind that in very rare cases this setting may cause your pc to not boot up due to your extreme memory profile xmp being unstable but like i said it is very rare and if you find yourself in this position all you need to do is reset the cmos which will revert all of the bios settings back to default i will leave a link to a quick one minute video on how to reset your cmos right here inside of the pack so you can go ahead and watch that before changing this setting but yeah in your bios find the setting called xmp it may be called docp or extreme memory profile for some other boards and enable it or set it to profile one depending on which option you have once again you can look up how to enable xmp on your motherboard model to find where the setting is located in your specific bios it may look something like this for most of the motherboards now that you have changed both of the settings go ahead and save these changes and exit out of your bios you should restart your pc a couple of times and load up in your favorite games for a few times to test the stability of these settings as well as monitor your temperatures to make sure that everything is in a stable condition but now that you are done here go ahead and check out this video to optimize your windows for ultimate gaming and performance Thanks.